What's going on everybody? I'm back here out at the lake. Got a new uh, River to Sea Whopper Plopper. It's a 90, I don't know, wanna say it's the perch pattern. Figured, you know, they work so well out here that uh, I'd keep on trying them. Something else I wanted to talk about was the sonar, solar lunar calendar. If you guys don't use it, no, you should probably should. It's just a fishing app and it lets me know when the major feeding times are, when the minor feeding times are, sunrise, moonrise, sunset, moonset. And then it shows you in graph form what, um, what the actual feeding times are. And as you can see, the red and orange line shows that we're, en we're at the end of a feeding time. And it's, uh, it's a minor feeding time. So with that being said, the bite probably isn't gonna be as hot. I probably should have gotten out here from eight to 10 a.m. as opposed to now. So if you're not using a solar lunar, lunar calendar, I would, I would recommend it. But if you go out on a day and it's the same time as another day, conditions are somewhat the same and you just, one day you got a bunch of bites and another day you didn't, it's probably because one day you were at the beginning of a feeding time and the next day you were at the end of a feeding time. And definitely at the end, you'll notice a huge difference in the bite. Difference in the bite. You might get one or two as opposed to, you know, five to seven. So I would definitely start using that calendar to help you out and kind of understand what's going on. Because I've had days out here where I can't not get a bite. And then I've had days where, you know, where I just don't get bites. And I don't expect today to be a great day because I know I'm at the end of a feeding time. But I'm still out here and hopefully we can get some. So thanks for watching. So I've changed spots. Um, you never really have much luck over there unless it's feeding time. He said, tap, tap, pow, set the hook. That was awesome. You know, I asked uh, Central Coast Bass, Scott, I asked him, uh, how do you know when to set the hook? And he said, when you feel the fish. That is the truest statement I've heard in a long time. And I didn't really understand it, but I definitely do now. Um, I've also heard that it takes it takes 50 catches on a single lure in, under, in order to understand what a bite feels like. I'm at about 30 with this lizard. And I'm, and I'm sure each soft plastic is close, but definitely a different feel. Um, you can see how far down we got that thing. I mean, it's, it's almost at the gill plate. It's right by his eye, just below it. I mean, it was a good hook set, but I felt it. I thought it was uh, it was coming through some weeds, and then as soon as as soon as I felt that second bump, which was him turning it in his mouth, um, I was able to go ahead and and set the hook. So definitely, um, knowing what it feels like makes a huge, huge difference. He's not a bad fish though. It's probably right at a pound. So let's get. Let this guy go. Yeah, he's gone. Did a 180. Took off that way. Whew. First fish. Thank heavens we got that out of the way. So I slowed down a whole lot. Um, I was fishing that whopper plopper and just getting nothing. I had one little one try to grab it. Um, 
So I switched to the Zoom Lizard six inch water, or this is the Watermelon Blue Ghost, I believe. It's yeah, after a minor feeding time, so I'm just trying to get whatever I can get at this point. And I'm happy with one, honestly. I didn't think I was gonna get that. That's all I thought I was gonna get today, was this stuff. Um, but it's healthy hydrilla. We're just on the verge of not being healthy. It's about to expire. But I'm just casting into the wind. Uh, wind's blowing from left to right. So I'm just trying to match what the current's doing. Um, I mean, if I was a hunter, I'd be facing into the wind, making sure my scent wasn't being picked up by my prey. Fish do the same thing. It's gonna blow the bait fish from the real shallows over to these deeper ends. So I'm just trying to fish that. Number two. Oh, he came off. Yeah, he had it. I just didn't get a good hook set on him. Got one. Oh, it's a better fish. Changed up colors. Went to a uh, a watermelon with red flake. See if that would make a difference. And second cast, and we caught this little guy. So heck yeah. Oh. Yeah. Something hit it as soon as it started to fall after that second pull. I definitely went with the right color, that's for sure. Something's starting to work. Oh man. Come on around. Got him. Oh, he hit it on the drop. Oh, don't break off. Don't break off. Don't break off. Oh, he tried to take it around the stanchion. Whoo! Oh, I got him good in the gill plate. Goodness. He took it and wanted to make a run. All right, so he choked it pretty good. I just want to make sure he's okay. Oh, yep. He's okay. There we go. All right, uh, he took off. Whew, thank heavens. He choked that all the way down to his gullet. That was my fault. I thought I was caught on some bushes, but he took me through it right beyond that column right there. And then he took me around the back, so I had to try to bring him around. And as I was bringing him around, he was choking it down. So, but we got him, he's okay. All right, so I'm sticking with the uh, watermelon red flake color. Uh, this is a net bait. It's a craw. I don't know what the actual name of it is, but I'm also using uh, the <clears throat> liquid mayhem. Um, this is the garlic crawfish scent. This stuff stinks, and it uh, it sticks really, really well um, on your plastics. I highly recommend it. I've tried fishing the same baits without it. And honestly, I, I do get more bites with it than without. Well, this is gonna be the last couple of casts. I just wanna see if I can get something on the Whopper Popper for fun. Oh, I've got one. <laughs> God, that's so awesome. 
Oh man. Bam. Man, if you've never fished topwater, you guys are missing out. That's just awesome. So much fun. All right, let's get the release on this guy. Caught him in the lip pretty good. He's uh, bleeding a little bit. I don't think it's gonna take much. There it goes. Heck yeah. Awesome. Um, caught everything on you know lizards and crawls. Real slow. Pop, pop. Let it sink. Um, they would hit it on the drop every time. Again, it wasn't a uh, it wasn't a major or minor feeding time. It was right after. So the bite was really, really slow, and then eventually, I got a couple, figured it out, and uh, you know, it was, it was fun. And they were choking it, so the ones that were getting it were hungry. But uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, as always, this is Flack Fishing saying, "Do good things. Good things will happen."